Good morning, everyone. And here's the sweet sounds of the T-Bar purring away. So we're just gonna go up and do a line check on this one. I was gonna do a startup video for you guys, but it's very simple. So actually, maybe I'll just bring in the hut here real quick and I'll show you uh, the intricacies of firing up a T-Bar. All right, so here are the drives for the T-Bar. This is T-Bar number five. Back here, we have T-Bar number four. And basically, you just throw the power rod, and they've got uh, they each have their own breaker and feed. And if the safeties are okay, you'll do a reset, and you have a green light. If the safeties aren't okay, you get a red light. And then you got to figure out where your safety isn't working correctly. At last, there's no Christmas tree or PLC on these things, but uh, maybe one day we'll do an upgrade on them and uh, get something in to make diagnosing them a little easier. Thankfully, there's not a heck of a lot that goes wrong on these things. They're fairly straightforward lifts. So it hasn't been much of an issue, but uh, it sure is nice if you have a broken brake fork out there and uh, or a loose wire and be able to narrow it down. But uh, yeah, so far so good with these. So just something to watch out for. These two T bars were installed, and depending on the documentation, in '72 or '73, but they're actually two slightly different models. This is the older one. You can see it's got a spoked bull wheel. And then over here you have a uh, welded bull wheel. And then some of the line gear is just a little bit different. Same idea, but they've tweaked the design, made it a little bit better on the uh, newer model T-Bar. So let's hop in and we'll do a tour up. And away we go. Right now I'm just uh, hopped into a tracked RTV here. Great little machine. You're not gonna get a speeding ticket in it, but with the tracks on it, these things will go anywhere. So we're just making sure that the uh, alignment on the towers is good. We just put uh, tension back on the left, so I want to do a good double check. Again, before I started, I actually did this and toured the line. It's looking good there. We're having a look at the towers. Looking great. I see I'm going to have to do a little pole pruning here. That'll be a job for next week, I think. This is such a beautiful line. Dare I say these are some of my favorite lifts. I've always had a bit of an affinity for T-bars. It's like a chairlift, except you're closer to the ground. And these ones are troopers. It was um, a lot of fun. I don't know if you've uh, looked at some of my previous videos. We actually completely rebuilt these last summer. So I'm involved dropping all the shift trains down Placing all the bearings, liners, pins, bushings. It had not seen a lot of service in the past few years, so the rebuild was necessary, but went really well. Blessed off wire there. Still get all the parts for them, and uh, the machining was great. Like it's, dare I say, it's a touch different than a BM. Actually, T bar number five, so the one this side, uh, got a new haul rope on it too. So that was the original haul rope, was a 17 millimeter. And uh, it was replaced with the 19 millimeter. Both these grips are allowed to use either or, so. Nice to beef it up. There is no immediate plans to replace these. There is talk of putting a quad in here. But uh, there's actually some pushback. Everyone really likes these. They're a really fast way to get up the hill. It's a bit of a conversation piece. There's not a whole lot of T-bars left here in Southern Ontario. And I don't, geez, I'm trying to think if I've seen any double T-bars, which I don't think there is anywhere else in Ontario.
that's just generally involved. The alignment on this lift is quite good, but when it's detension, it has a tendency to throw itself out of alignment a bit, so that'll be just prying the whole rope back into the center of that uh, combination shed there. Should be good. Now we get the tractor out. Thankfully, it's relatively dry right now, so we have a chance of getting her up there. Oh, it just sounds great. Well, there we have it. I got to do a little adjustment on Tower 4. But other than that, she's looking really good. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope you're staying healthy, and we'll see you on the next one.